Your Grace, Your Excellencies, Reverend Fathers, my dear sisters, men and women in consecrated life, the seminarians, brothers and sisters in Christ. What does St. Augustine want to say to liturgists in 2023? What does the gospel just proclaimed want to say to liturgists of the Philippines gathering in the year 2023? St. Augustine was asked, what are the three requirements for us to go to heaven? And he said, the first is humility, the second is humility, and the third is humility. See, if I may summarize the gospel for today in relation to the task of liturgists in the church in the Philippines, I will say the same thing. Three virtues are required from our liturgists in the Philippines. The first is humility, the second is humility, and the third is humility. If, litur if liturgy is worship of God, liturgy that is tainted with pride is abominable before God. If liturgy is a sanctification of men and women, men and women who are proud will not be able to receive the blessings of God. In other words, humility is not just the crown of all virtues. Humility is also the starting ground of virtues. So, what about humility for liturgists? Humility has many different phases, different forms. The first expression of humility is gratitude. A grateful heart is actually a humble heart. And that is why the source and summit of our Christian life is also called thanksgiving. Our Eucharist, our Eucharistia, would be severely imperfect and incomplete if it is not accompanied by a humble and contrite heart. And that humble and contrite heart is best expressed in gratitude. To be able to say thank you. To be able to say everything is grace. To be able to say everything we owe from the Lord, nothing is really ours. We need you, my dear brothers and sisters, in the liturgical ministry to embrace that sense of gratitude, that sense of joy, because our world, our society is fast becoming a protesting, an angry, a perennially complaining society. And the antidote to such a disease of complaining, of protesting, of getting angry at every little detail is a spirit of gratitude to consider everything as grace. Humility is gratitude, and may we always be grateful for the task entrusted to us. But in the words of St. Thomas, humility is also truth. And the truth is, I am only a creature, I am not the creator. Let our liturgical worship be a proclamation of that truth, that the liturgy is not ours, the liturgy is God's. The prayer is not to us, the prayer is to God. And let us celebrate our faith, let us celebrate our hope, let us celebrate our love, keeping in mind that basic truth, I believe in God. So why do we need liturgists in 2023? Because you know, we all know, we all have been hurt by the sins against veritas, the sins against the truth. 
If liturgy is truth, because liturgy is an act of humility, then liturgy must also be our antidote to the falsification of truths, to the manipulation of facts, to the creation of false news, to the creation of blasphemy, sacrilege, calumny, lies that destroy and kill. My dear brothers and sisters, experts in liturgy, be agents of truth, be prophets of truth. In the liturgy, we proclaim nothing but the truth, and the truth has a name. He is the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ. Humility is gratitude. May you always be grateful and happy. Humility is truth. May we be courageous to stand up for the truth all the time. But last of all, humility is also mystery. Only the humble will be able to accept that some things are greater than me. Some truths are deeper than mine. Only the humble will be able to accept that sense of wonder, that sense of mystery, that sense of awe. Every liturgist should be able to say, wow, at the mystery of God that unfolds right before our eyes as we hold the body and blood of the Lord in our unworthy hands. That sense of mystery that gets satisfied that it is revealed truth and therefore I cannot understand, I will not be able to understand because if I would understand completely, then it is already a human invention. If I can understand completely and it is really from God, then I would die because my mind and my heart is too small to contain the immensity of the mysteries of God entrusted to us entrusted to our hands. It is not easy to be a liturgist and to be humble in the same way that it is not easy to be a Christian and to be humble. Humility is quite a difficult virtue, but let us give flesh and bone and blood to it. Let our humility be expressed in an increased quota of saying thank you for everything. Let our humility be expressed in the courage to stand up for the truth, because the one we celebrate is the truth with a capital T. Let our humility lead us to a deep sense of faith, to acceptance of mystery, because we are too small compared to the immensity of the mysteries of God entrusted to our hands. So my dear brothers and sisters, thank you for coming to the Archdiocese of Linga and the Gupan. Please pray for us for a deep sense of humilitas. And we will also pray for you that your humilitas be translated into gratitude, into truth-seeking and truth-protection into a loving and cheerful embrace of mystery, understanding how small, how tiny we are. Lord of mystery, Lord of truth, Lord of all blessings, stay with us. We worship you and adore you. We are all your unworthy children. Make us less unworthy. Increase our love, increase our hope, Increase our faith, make us humble.